Hello everybody, this would be a bit of, uh, bit of a change to what you're used to, probably used to the Ghost King content, the Pokemon Go content, but I'm going to have a break from that for now, uh, and I'm going to go into a different thing, a different type of content, uh, some cooking content, because recently I became a, an apprentice chef, so I want to be delving into different recipes, trying new things, uh, trying other people's recipe, which leads me to today's video, where I'm actually going to be trying uh, Melbourne Football Club player Christian Petrarca's apple crumble recipe. Uh, it looks great on paper, I'm sure I trust him, he looks like he very much knows what he's doing, way more than me. Respect the man a lot, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with, our, with getting all of our beans. As you can see, I've already got apple here just to demonstrate how it should be cut up. So you want about 800 grams of apples cooked. So I've already got the pan going with some water over there on the oven. Uh, so I've got a couple of these green apples, which are newer, and I've got a few of these rare ones, which are a bit older. So I'm probably a bit over 800, but I have some older apples to use up, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, you want, you want one, one, one cup of flour, plain flour. Uh, you want half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, but I'm going to be using cinnamon sugar because we don't have just cinnamon, which, how dare I. Uh, you're going to want a cup of coconut, a cup of oats, but that'll come in later. And I'm going to be adding a sneaky bit of protein powder in there just to give it a bit of kick. So you want to cut your apples up like this. So bang. the apples are cut up, we need to get our butter and grate it, which is going to be an incredibly fun process. Alright, so now that our apples are done, our um, butter's grated, what we're going to do is we're going to put our dry ingredients in, so that's one cup of flour, half a cup of brown sugar, and really just put in as much cinnamon as you want, really just, just to your liking. I like a fair bit of cinnamon in mine, you might not. So now that we've got that, just gonna, you know, combine in a bit. Oh, that brown sugar's being a bit hard to break up. One second. So now I've got a fork and I'm just gonna break up the brown sugar. Mix it all around, da 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 da. And now we're gonna put in our grated butter from earlier. Just gonna put it in there. And yes, this bit will be a bit messy, so make sure your hands are clean, don't be afraid of a bit of mess, you know. It shouldn't be messy outside of the bowl, and this bowl that I'm obviously scraping butter out with, but um, yeah. So now you're gonna use your hands and just knead that in there, get it all around, and just be careful. I think mine's done it here, but because you're squeezing it, the butter might clump. It just makes it, when you grate it, a lot more easier to handle. So you're gonna just, just mix it. Thank you. All right. So now one cup of oats and one cup of coconut. Ugh. Mix. Oop, that fell. And I'm going to add just a little bit of protein powder just to make it a bit more. Yeah, give it a kick. I'm using. Salted caramel. 20 grams of protein per serve. So, now, mix that around. Pupils. So now that you've got your mix, it should look a bit like that. I might actually add a bit more oats because I want mine a bit more crunchy. Add a bit more, yep. Not much more, just a bit. So now that we've got that, we're going to set this aside. We're going to clean up a little bit. And as to not burn the bench, I'm going to sit our stewed apples there. What we're going to do is to stop that water from coming in, because we don't want all the water. We just want some of it. Ladle! Okay, so now that we've got a ladle, we're going to get our stewed apples in. Oh, they smell. I wish you could smell this. So we're going to put them in. And we're going to try to put them in evenly. Don't they look lovely, look how soft they are. And see how we're not getting all that water, because that's way too much water, but we are getting some of it, we're getting most of it.
that is the thing. I'm gonna get our apple crumble, uh, our crumble mix from earlier. I'm gonna give it a bit more of a mix up just to make sure everything's all good and mixed. And now we're going to sit that on top. Time lapse, time lapse. Oh, doesn't that look good? <laughs> Now we're going to add some more oats, just a sprinkle on top. Lovely. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven, which is preheated. And I forgot to tell you, but you should you should know to preheat your ovens. So we're going to put this in the oven. Oven, 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 oven. Now we're putting that in for 160 degrees uh, for th 40 minutes. Look at her. And look who else has come look to her. look who else has come to see. Come to see what the pie is. You just smell food and you're going, oh, I want food. Say hi. Say hi, Molly. Say hi, Molly. Oh, she wants cuddles. You want cuddles? Cuddles? Ready? 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 All right, so this is how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Uh, those burnt bits, I don't think they're burnt. I think they're just bits of coconut that went on the side. So we're gonna grab a knife. We're going to cut a bit. Cuts well, crust is firm. Apples are soft by the feel of it. Why am I cutting it like this? What I need is a spoon. There we go, that's better. All right, oh, let's grab a bit out. Doesn't that look good? Gonna grab a bit, a bit more. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right. Now, what I'm going to top it with is I'm going to actually put some <clears throat> gonna chuck some mango yogurt just to the side, just to the side like that. Beautiful. Thank you everyone for watching. Oh. Thanks everyone for watching and thanks you, thank you Christian Prajaka for the inspiration. All credits to you. Um, yeah, love your cooking, love your game, love your work. Keep on. Thanks for watching guys.